Hey guys, Bowser in 64 here. So, I just found out something extremely interesting about the Steam Deck and the Nintendo DS. I'm going to show you something. See, the Nintendo DS uses a pressure sensitive screen because this is a stylus from my Nintendo DS. And I just put like an earbud thing on the end so that it wouldn't scratch up my screen when I use it. And you could do this with the regular stylus, the stylus that comes on the DS itself. But here is my Steam Deck. And as you can see, it is touch sensitive for fingers. It's not a problem. But look what happens when I try to open up something with my DS stylus. Nothing. So from experimentation, what this tells me, I can't even bring up my taskbar as you can see, is that this stylus is not going to work because it is not, you know, um, it's not a statically operated stylus. So uh, apparently the Nintendo DS uses a capacitive touchscreen or a pressure sensitive touchscreen rather instead of a capacitive, capacitive touchscreen. It's really hard to say for some reason. So that's really odd. But basically, in simple terms, the way I understand it, means that the screen is operated by pressure on Nintendo DS. And on the Steam Deck, it's operated by static electricity from your finger or something like that. Pretty much standard, just like your phone screen or something like that. So, I don't know what to say. You learn something every day. So, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Some more random videos coming your way soon. Don't miss them.